What's up everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can make your thumbnails look 10 times nicer by using a few simple tricks that I use for my thumbnails. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make an eye-catching thumbnail, but also a few tips and tricks to actually make your thumbnails look 10 times nicer. So obviously you know I went on holiday for 2 or 3 weeks, I managed to collect 2 images that will make up one part of my vlog. So these 2 images right here, obviously I've got this was in, I think it was in Malaga, and you've got Malaga like a castle right there and then you've got also my mate here who's who's looking on the edge that's probably one of the best photos i've ever taken so today i'm going to be creating a high catching thumbnail with this image and also this image but one thing the main purpose of this video is to make your thumbnails look 10 times nicer so without further ado let's get straight into creating this thumbnail so what we want to do to start off with is file new and we want to go for the width 1280 and the height 720 you always want to go with those measurements because that is the actual thumbnail size so once we've done that we need to click OK. So once we clicked OK, this is what we've got to work with. So what I'm going to go and do now is get one of the images, and I'm just going to go for a single sort of slash between the pictures for this thumbnail. Obviously, you got Malaga Castle here. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit, and I'm just going to really make. I'm not going to spend like a lot of time on this thumbnail because really you don't want to spend a lot of time on this thumbnail for a tutorial. And then I'm going to get the other image, which is my mate Ollie, um, standing on the top of the viewing point at Malaga. Like a castle. So what I like to do for my thumbnails, I like to to split these images off. I like to create a rectangle which is about that thick and it is white. So once we've done that, we want to scale it to the middle of the page. And I've got one of these little effects down here, which will make it a, a more unique look to it. So once I've done that, I want to go ahead and get the eraser tool. I want to scroll down to GoPro 4944, which is this image of Ollie standing on the viewing point here. And I want to rasterize it. And what I want to do now is basically delete all this, all this and, and erase all this uh, photo out here. You've got to be very careful with with because that's only a small rectangle. You can easily go over and, and start to knock into this image here. So once this is all complete, that is a real good thumbnail by itself. You could have some text or anything like this, but that's the thumbnail I'm going to use for one of my vlogs. But this can be improved so much, and I'm going to show you guys how to now. So you see this whole this whole thumbnail here, right? This just looks very, very boring. Colors look bland and everything. That's a lot better because it's got obviously the blue Chelsea shirt there so what i'm going to go do now is i'm going to click on this image right here and i'm going to go to my blending options and we're going to use the satin now this is the first method satin it depends if you want to go for a, a more dark sort of contrast you can obviously and that brings out the color so much more so if i was going for say that i click ok and then if i wanted to go for this image right here one of ollie i go for satin again and obviously it makes it look look a little bit darker you can obviously scale that down though so do it probably to about that. So that is one way to make the thumbnail look a lot nicer if you've got bright images and, and the colors are just bland. So the next method I'm going to use is again on the blending options. Let me just go ahead and take these satins off these images right here because we don't want those, we don't want all the effects contrasting. There we go, satin's been taken off. So another one that I like to do is use inner glow. Now inner glow is pretty self-explanatory. I mean to be honest like it, it can it can really really make a good tinge to stuff like that, that red right there you can change it to bring up all the gradient editors and stuff so you can go for, for a blue or you can go for a pink or something say we wanted pink that looks all really nice it just gives such a good feel to the image but you can reduce the opacity obviously i'm going to show you a secret of mine that is i've heard about but it's a really really good secret for thumbnails and it's it's very strange but you'll get the hang of it so if i go ahead say i want this image this is what i want to do it's still bland but i want it anyway i want to go ahead and save it now you might be thinking avalanche what are you doing here mate what seriously what's going on but you want to go for saving it as a jpeg and i'm just going to save it as let's just say malaga i'll just save it as malaga so we've got malaga i've saved it in my thumbnails folder yep we want it on maximum maximum okay so there there we go nothing has happened you'll notice nothing at all has happened so what we want to do is file place linked and we want to type in the thumbnail. And now you might be thinking, I've lost the plot here, but I really haven't. Just scale that down, place it over that thumbnail. And what you want to do with this is something like this. This is a really, really good technique. This is what I use all the time. I don't use any other techniques. I just use this one. And what we want to do now is we want to make sure we've selected the Malaga image. Make sure we've selected the actual thumbnail. We want to go to filter, other, 
and we want to go to high pass so you might look at all this this is really not not a good thumbnail right now so we press ok and what you want to do now and this is one of the most important steps you want to go over to here you see this normal you want to change it to overlay which is all the way down here you won't be able to see it on the screen but look at that that just makes it 10 times better in my opinion all the colors are just come straight out the blue brightens up the thumbnail it just looks dead professional it looks like a professional photographer has actually taken the image and really that is something i mean if you just change that look at the difference like look at the difference it sharpens it up it outlines all the images a lot better it defines it a lot more but it just looks so much nicer this is probably not a great representation of what this effect can achieve but that is what i use for all my thumbnails this is the effect that i use i don't use satin i don't use in a glow i used to use them but now i found out about this i use this all the time so that is going to be the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more tutorials like this one definitely go ahead hit that like button and that's going to be the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one